So when you're going ice fishing, you really want to have a couple of different rods and a couple of different power rods is really the important thing. Today we're targeting mainly panfish, but I know in this body of water you have a chance at some bigger species. There's walleye, there's northern pike, there's giant bluegill and pumpkin seeds, and the big thing is the big crappie here as well. So when I go with rods for this type of fishery, I want to have rods that are from light, medium light, and medium power, and that's going to allow me to do a couple of things. The first thing you have to know is that you should be matching the bait and line to the power of the rod. On my light rods, I'm going to run, you know, two, four, up to six pound test maximum or five pound braid maximum. And I'm going to run really small baits like what I've got on here. When I get to my medium light, I'm going to be able to run a little bit bigger baits, maybe uh, a smaller freedom spoon or, you know, a turn back shad in that smaller size. So that's what I consider to be rod for medium sized baits. And I'm going to run six, eight pound test maximum. And then I'm gonna have a medium rod for throwing bigger baits. And if you can cover all those bases, the rods are gonna work better with the size of the baits, they're gonna work better for the fighting the fish and handling that line. Having three combos in ice fishing goes a long, long way. All right, big one too. I'll come give him a hand. I'll come give you a hand there, Jeff. There's a couple under here, Megan, if you got none there. Isn't it amazing how much backbone that little rod has? Oh, isn't that wild? And a little soft tip. Yep. And then the backbone. Oh, what do we got? Smallmouth. Large mouth. Oh, on the turn turnback. Back. There you go, yeah, buddy. Yeah, on the turnback shot. Thank you. All right. Nice job. <laughs> turnback shot. Got him. <sighs> decent fish. This is a decent one. Oh yeah. I knew they were bigger fish. They were just being way too, yeah, they just coming up super slow. And that's, the, you know, especially when you get bass, because they're wintering, they're not super, super aggressive. I got such a small hook on though, and such a light line. I have a feeling this is a bass. The way he was acting, Mr. Bucket Mouth. <laughs> That's awesome. You gotta love that. Largey. <laughs> 